going to be attempting to make the most crazy, most dramatic, and most heartfelt story in Talify. Now, if you don't know what Talify is, basically it kind of reminds me of episode in a way where you can go to different stories, have different decisions to make, and the story is kind of based off of what outcome you choose. It's kind of like that, but better because you can literally make your own characters and put yourself in the game. Let me just show you how it works real quick. Also, a huge shout out to Talify for sponsoring today's video. Story name. I have no idea what I want to title this, okay? Why can I not stop farting? <laughs> I don't know. That's going to be the story name because, like, why not? Oh, we can generate. <gasps> Wait, that's actually so clutch. I was like, wait, I don't really have a picture to put in there, but we can literally AI generate it and just kind of explain what it is. Lady that cannot stop farting. <laughs> generate picture. Oh my gosh, what is it about to come out to? What the heck? <laughs> that is not a lady that can't stop farting. That is just a regular lady. Farting lady. Okay, you guys, it literally changed. <laughs> it didn't even progress, but you know, maybe she's like just farting underneath her her. You know, we just gonna pretend like she's just farting underneath her dress. Characters add character. Oh, so this is where we create the characters. Okay, farting May. Cause you know, technically this is me. I apparently I have a farting problem. Appearance of this character. Black girl with twist. Choose character's age. I am a uh, young, young? Uh, adult. Young adult is what I meant to say. Choose the character's gender, female. Um, Generate pictures. I don't know if it can generate me, but we'll see. Wait, this is actually not that bad. Wait, that actually looks good. I mean, that kind of looks like me, right? <laughs> communication style. We can add communication style. Oh, so if I wanted to give myself a unique communication style, I would put it right here. I low-key kind of want, like, AI to do all of this because, like, I I don't want to write it for it, you know? I guess our reaction is literally just to fart, right? Because, because that's literally our character. We just farting, okay? All right, we're gonna save the character. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. I'm, like, kind of scared, okay? And honestly, I kind of just got done watching, like, Rapunzel and stuff. So I I'm kind of feeling like let's add, like, a character, like, an evil step mother maybe because you know we need a little drama to the story like it can't just be just me all right so boom y'all i kind of went a little crazy with the imagination but you know we got farting may okay boom evil stepmother because I, we have to have one you know all the time in these stories and we got prince charming you know you listen listen okay these are their traits evil stepmother that cursed made to fart doesn't want her to find love that is her biography okay prince charming on the other hand prince charming can remove the fart curse from May. <laughs> Prince Charming is here to save May. Okay, long story short. And he is going to save her. I don't know how, but we're gonna see. The description of the story reads, May is locked away in a tower cursed with a farting problem by her evil stepmother. Prince Charming wants to save her and take away the curse. Sounds simple enough, right? All right, so right off the back, it says choose your main character. Obviously, that's going to be, you know, farting May. The tower was dark and eerie with a faint smell of old books and musty dust. Part May shivered as she felt her heart race in her chest, the sound of her heavy breathing echoing off the stone walls. She had found rumors about this place, tales of a prince trapped within its walls by an evil so sorcerer. Now here she was, locked away in the tower herself, searching for the prince who could save her. As she explored deeper into the labyrinth structure, she stumbles upon a hidden passageway lit only by a flickering torch. With trembling hands, she reached out to touch the cool stone walls. Feeling her way out through the darkness, suddenly she heard a faint whisper, barely audibly above the sound of her own breath. Prince must save farting May. <laughs> Prince must save farting May. The voice trailed off, leaving farting May alone once again in the eerie silence, bro. It's just the name. Farting May is just crazy, bro. Follow the whisper. Find the prince. Escape the tower. Well, find the prince, obviously. We want to we wanna find our prince charming. As farting May continued her search, she found herself in a grand hall filled with suits of armor and tapestries depicting heroic deeds. A massive portrait hung above the, the fireplace. Its subject unmistakably the prince she sought. With renewed determination, she pressed on the faint whispers of the cursed prince guided her every step. Abruptly, she was ambushed by the evil stepmother. Oh no! She had been hiding in the shadows. 
You will never find the prince, cursed one. She crackled, banishing a wicked dagger. He is mine, and I would not allow you to take him away. Wait, 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 wait what? Farting May trembled with fear, but refused to back down. She summoned all her courage and faced the wicked woman head on. I must save the prince, she declared, and break this farting curse spell. The evil stepmother laughed manically, her eyes filled with hatred over my dead body. She hissed, charging at Farting May. What will Farting May do next? Will she be able to defeat the wicked stepmother and save the cursed prince? Why is the prince cursed too? I thought it was just me. Dodge the wicked stepmother's attack. Counter attack with all your might. Defend against the dagger's thrust. I'm a, I think I might just counter strike. Or no, I think I might just dodge and then hit her like boom. Like dodge and like weave and then hit her with a two piece. As Farting May darting away from the wicked stepmother's attack. She felt a sudden burst of air escape her. The evil woman crackled manically. Her dagger raised high above her head. You'll never escape me, cursed one, she shouted, her voice echoing through the grand hall. Despite her fear, Farting May refused to give up. She ducked under a swinging mace, narrowly avoiding being crushed by a heavy weapon. As she scrambled to her feet, she caught sight of a secret door hidden behind a tapestry. Without hesitation, she dashed towards it, her heart pounding Pounding in her chest, the door swung open just as the stepmother was about to deliver the killing blow. Farting May squeezed. I thought I was about to say Farting May squeezed like her booty or something to like fart. Farting May squeezed through the narrow opening, leaving the wicked woman seeing with rage on the other side. Now alone in a dimly lit corridor, Farting May couldn't help but wonder if she made the right choice. She could hear the stepmother's footsteps growing louder, closing in on her from behind. Would she ever? find the prince and break this cursed spell run faster find secret passage hide behind corner let's find the secret passage okay we trying to get the freak up out of here Forty may hesitated for a moment her heart pounded in her chest she knew that the secret door could lead to safety or danger she had no idea which one it was with a deep breath she pushed open the tapestry and stepped into the dimly lit corridor the air was thick with the scent of dust and old books she could hear the faint sounding whispering coming from somewhere ahead as she moved deeper into the corridor she noticed that the walls what were lined oh i thought it was about to say like the walls were closing in the walls were lined up with ancient scrolls and tombs suddenly a door at the end of the corridor cracked open Forty may froze her heart racing a figure emerged from the darkness casting a shadowy silhouette against the wall who's there a voice echoed through the corridor. It was deep and resonant, yet somehow familiar. Farting May took a tentative step forward and her curiosity getting the better of her. She peered into the darkness, trying to make out the figure's features. As a shadowy figure moved forward, revealing its face, Farting May gasped <laughs> in surprise. Could this be the prince she had been searching for all along? Find out next time on Dragon Ball. No, I'm just joking, but but no, for real though. You're gonna have to find out. You're gonna have to go go to Telefy yourself. Link in description, by the way, and go and play my dang on story, okay? Literally making your own story. Like I really like that whole aspect because it kind of makes you immerse with your own story, and then you can have other people play your story too, your little masterpiece that you made. And one other thing that I already said that I mentioned was that I love the fact that it had AI generated pictures, and all you have to do is like put in the description and it comes out with the picture. If you guys want to see more Telefy in the future, let me know by leaving a like and comment down below which one was your favorite part Talify will be linked in the description down below and my story will also be the second link right underneath it'll also be the pinned comment too bro go play my story okay like listen i worked very hard on this story okay once again huge shout out to Talify for sponsoring today's video and uh yeah